Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Conqueror gun carriage, the Tier 10 British SPG, and it's located on the south spawn of Live Oaks under the command of UK Scarface. Right, well, it's a 9.2 inch howitzer based on a Conqueror chassis. It's enclosed, it's got vents, and battle is underway. Capable of 1200 alpha damage. And the trajectory is pretty amazing. Shells almost go straight up parabolically and come straight down. So it doesn't matter if you try to hide behind a rock, it's going to get you. Now you can see it's got the What Are You Noobs logos on the side. Thanks to Sir Rusty, we have our own logo on our vehicles. And we're parking next to the edge of the map and there's a... Uh, M5355, just a short distance away from us, but I think we're going to aim for that strip 1030. He's gone up to that little tree. Looks like he's knocked it down to provide the next bit of extra cover. We're lining up a shot, but we can't see him at the moment. We're dialed in, and an enemy's turned up at the uh, dip. You say the dip, it's the bridge, but uh, most people call it the dip. And they're bunching together, which is rather nice of them to do that, because it means we'll get extra hit points when we fire at them. Rounds out. Good hit! 553 hit points off the object 277, 145 off the Wizzy 120. Bad news for the enemy, because one of them was permanently stunned. The object 277 hasn't used his repair, his first aid kit, and with good reason, because he probably wants to ensure that he can fix any crew member who goes uh, wrong. Uh, we've got an object 140. We've marked the target. We're almost loaded. Rounds out straight away. Oh, 800. Well, it's 474 hit points of damage. We did. Um, we've got 63 hit points of stun assist as well directly afterwards. And we've picked up some more stun assist from that Wizzy 120. Now... The enemy are having a difficult time trying to get past the dip. We've got three defenders, plus, of course, two RT defending the gap. Plus, of course, there's two Super Conquerors a little further back, as they were the ones that didn't go into the town. This is a Tier 10 game, by the way, on a 5-10 matchup. Or is it 3-5-7? No, it's 5-10. Okay, round out on the Pajetto. Must have been near it. can't see that Progetto in the dip at the moment. Well, we know there are a couple of tanks in the dip. Well, one tank we can see or could see for a second was the Object 140, but we've now lost sight of him. It looks like the enemy are very reluctant to come out of that dip. They know that if they do, they're going to get hit by RT, and if it's not RT, it'll probably be one of our tanks. But whilst they're holding us, uh, uh, they haven't come out of the dip themselves, they're actually stopping us from progressing up the railway tracks. There's the 277. Round out. Looks good. It is. 544 hit points that time and one critical hit. And the Object 140 is the only one that's holding them back from going after that uh, 277. But I don't think he'll last very long because he did, doesn't have much in the way of health left. There's the Pajetto. Pajetto 65, the tier 10 version. We're almost ready to shoot. Rounds are coming in from the enemy artists as well. I think we're going to go for the Pajetto first. Oh, he's being joined by a teammate. And, well, double bubble there. We got both the Pajetto and the Leopard Prototype A. And they've both been stunned. Which is going to give our Wizzy 120 a chance to put rounds in. He's killed the Pajetto 65. So we've picked up some more stun assist. The Leopard prototype is getting hit. The other guys are backing under the bridge. They know that they're effectively toast. Because look, one of them's got three hit points. The other's got 78. They're one shots. Easy one shots. Lining up one. And we're almost ready to shoot. And the Wizzy 120 has been killed. We can't get a shot on 277 until he comes out the other side and the T55A gets him. Right, what we've got to the north though, 
directly to the north we've got a strip 103 in fact that's the same one we aimed at right at the start of the game we're dialing in on him and all of a sudden an object 263 has appeared so we're dialing in on him instead and marking him as target we're gonna have to leave the target a little and good hit 571 hit points off that one now we've got a lot of arty gap together in one place which is not a good idea it's actually a better idea for us to move and we need to get out of here quick and head north along the railway tracks and i think the batch at 155 58s realized this as well primarily because the enemy is getting rather close to our cap area and you don't really want to be sitting near the cap when they arrive okay we're loaded ready to go reloading as we were moving t49 just took out uh, or one of their end rt just took out our yag type but go for the t49 oh splash kill 354 hit points first kill of the game for us or rather for uh uh, for UK Scarface, but we've lost sight of the enemy. Now we know that there's a strip 103, a 4502B, an object 263, and there's another tank. I didn't, didn't see which one that was. Maybe a Martian. Um, but we really do need to relocate right now. We can see the enemy RT. They're retreating in the north, going to the city, and the GW Tiger P has been taken out. So that just leaves the T92. We're trying to work out where he is. He's obviously over the other side of that ridge line, so the T55A is having difficulty spotting him. But once we spot him, we should be able to put a round into him. There he is! Line up a shot. Is he gonna stop and turn around? Rounds out. Looks good. He's gonna land just behind him. And 269 hit points of damage. And he used his uh, first aid kit straight away. But we've got a 4502B now in the cap area. And he's still heading towards us. And we're still reloading. So we need that Super Conqueror to help us. Otherwise we're going to have to move quick. We should have moved up on to where the bat chat is. Let that 4502 just get way too close. And now we've gone to overhead view. Because that way we can see exactly when the 4502 has moved into the field of fire waiting for it oh well we fired a round in and we got some splash we're gonna have to get out now we've got no choice oh we've been spotted by the enemy and there's the strip and he's going in to attack our super contra oh we've taken a round from the Martian for 515 we've only got 15 hit points left Well, at least we picked up some spotting damage there on the strip. But we're having to try and escape with very little in the way of hit points left. We've also used our repair kit. We bounced around from the mouse shoot. Could you believe that? Bounced around for 490 hit points off the vehicle. And now we've been stunned by the enemy RT. So we've taken two shots from the enemy. We've done 3.978k, uh, uh, 3,978 hit points of damage so far, according to our system, but it could be more. Okay, we're lining up a shot on the Martian. He was somewhere behind that house. There he is. Okay, and we can splash him from here. Oh, nice kill. 281 hit points. That's nice revenge for him putting that huge round into us and taking virtually all our hit points away but it also means we've got two kills so now if we win this game and survive the battle I think that's actually going to be a Starks medal I'm pretty certain it is <laughs> we've got two kills we took two shots and we lost more than two-thirds of our hit points in fact we've lost virtually all of our hit points and that super conqueror is having a good go at the 4502 but he needs to pull back so we can put a round in. The enemy has only got three left. Oh, the enemy M5553 has just killed 
Oh, Super Conqueror. It's now four versus three. We've got two in the cap and they've capped out. They've capped out. We've won. And that means, yes, it's almost a certainty. It means that there's going to be a Starks medal, I would think. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Oh, my gum. Just look at this. What a haul of medals for UK Scarface. He got a Gores medal. He did more damage exceeding 10 times the hit points of his vehicle. He got a Starks medal, just like I said he should, uh, for getting two kills. Uh, receiving two shots from the enemy and losing at least 230 hit points in the process. Um, he got a, a Spartan medal, would you believe it? Because he bounced that round from the Martian when he only had 15 hit points left. So he had less than 10% of his hit points and he still bounced around <laughs> from that enemy tank. Um, he got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. And lastly, he got a Confederate for actually doing more, um, hitting more of the enemy than anyone else, at least six tanks taken down by other tanks and of course it was the second class tanker and he also got a bruiser medal for getting these five critical hits in fact he got 14 and the win eight for the game 5207 altogether which is super income standard so let's have a look at the team score there you go right at the top of the table 4746 hit points of damage he beat the object 263 on the enemy team who have 4272 at the end of that game uh when it came to kills well, it was the T-55A who got the most. He got three kills. Uh, then came UK Scarface with two alongside several other members of his own team. Well, a member of his own team and four members of the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, he was in third place. The T-55A got 991. The M-5355 got 88899. But he didn't survive the battle. But UK Scarface did survive the battle. Got 858. 848 sorry base experience points and five medals just look at those fantastic let's have a look at the detail report he fired 10 rounds from that 9.2 inch howitzer he got three direct hits zero penetrations he shook the enemy to death he got 13 splashes on the enemy damage of 4746 hit points of which 4690 were at more than 300 meters he received two hits from the enemy. One was a penetration. One was a non-penetration, of all things. And he also received one hit as a result of splash damage. That was a near miss from the enemy RT. He actually damaged 10 of the enemy, two-thirds of the enemy team, and killed two of the enemy. He did damage assistance of 475 hit points and stun assistance of 1,615 hit points of 11 stuns. On a premium count, he earned 72,846 credits, got 29,138 credits for completing the mission and events. So his total was 101,984. And after repair and ammunition resupply, he took away 46,584 credits. He received 18 bonds for that battle. That was a, a huge amount, but there again, it was a huge haul of medals. He also got 1,272 XP, times 2 for the first victory, 382 for completing the mission and events, and 636 for a personal reserve bonus. So he took away 3,582, was that 82 or 62? 62 experience points altogether. So yes, a multi-medal haul, he called it. It certainly is, and those were really good medals to get. I think actually, though, I think I would have been a bit more conservative. I would have gone where the, uh, the batch at 155.58 went, uh, which is nearer to the dip. And if, if, if you'd actually done that, you probably wouldn't have picked up the Stark medal because the, the Martian probably wouldn't have seen you because uh, you would have moved there before the Martian got within view range. But by actually doing what you did, you stayed behind to help the Super Conqueror get those hits on the enemy, uh, which is a very brave thing to do. Very brave indeed, but almost foolishly brave, you might say, but... It worked. You got a Starks medal out of it, which is which is all the better. And of course, you also got the Spartan medal out of it at the same time. Uh, so two extra medals for having some courage to stay behind. Not bad. If you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.